In today's quick tip, we'll be going over this small script that allows you to create a wall with a specific height and a specific thickness. It's pretty straightforward, fairly quick, but it'll be useful for, you know, doing architectural sketches like this one, and it'll save you a lot of time. So let's jump right in. Okay, so this quick tip is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to come here and first go to units. Let's see what we're working with. So I have inches and then feet and inches here, and I'm going to create an outline for a building. So I'm going to go to polyline and then go to f8 to kind of snap to grid or snap to ortho and then i go here 30 feet and i'm just going to go around creating a you know an interesting polyline and then i'll go right at the end c enter to close and so i've just created basically a polyline here that i want to bring into grasshopper so let's go here to in grasshopper let's go to curve and let's select that and then right click, set one curve. And so we brought in this curve into Grasshopper so we can actually go ahead and select that, control H to hide. And now we can uh, create the walls. So let's go ahead and offset this curve. Let's drop that in there. And as you can see, it's offsetting out. So if you wanted to offset out, that's fine, but I want it to offset in. So I'll go to negative. Oh. Double click, negative, plug that in here, and then I'll go to an offset of 5.5. So that's a uh, two by six exterior wall. And there we have basically the offset. Now, there are many ways to make this into a solid height, and I'm gonna show you the different ways to do it. So we can actually go ahead and extrude this curve and extrude, also extrude this curve. And we're going to extrude them the same amount. So we're going to go in the Z direction and we're, let's go to 120, which is going to be a 10 foot height, 120 inches. And so we'll plug that into the Z vector. And as you can see, when we plug those in, it'll give us a two surfaces that are not closed. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and um, go here to cap holes. So this will cap the outside one. And then we can go to cap holes for the other one and do the inside one. And now we can go ahead and do a solid difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all of this stuff. So select all of it, space bar, and then un preview. And then we'll go here and have the outside, inside, and we'll do a solid solid difference and there we have a for the one that we want to keep and b for the subtraction we can select that and unpreview and there we have a perfectly uh you know solid exterior wall that we can change the thickness to the inside and outside and save us a lot of time uh in 3d modeling if we're trying to do just exterior walls or just massing um, so here we can adjust the height also and so, yeah, it gives us all that variety, but this is just one way to do it. And as you can see, we had to extrude, make into a solid and then do a subtraction. There's another way to do it that might be easier. So this is one way to do it. There's another way to do it. So let's go ahead and delete this and bring back what we have. So we have these two curves, spacebar, and then preview. And what I wanna do is do a boundary surface between these two. So I'll go to boundary surface and it'll boundary surface the outside. And if I bring in this one, it'll actually do two overlapping ones. So that's not what we want. So we want to go here to edges, right click and then flatten. And that'll give us that surface. Now this surface, we can just extrude. And when we extrude it, we can bring in this component that we had before and it puts it into a perfect solid. So you see, we saved a lot of steps here and it made it a little bit more simple. So there's many ways of achieving the same result, but there's some that are better than others. So in my opinion, this is a bit of a better way to do it, uh, but they both kind of work. So if you have a script that's gonna be way bigger, it's better to do it this way because we're not doing difference and Boolean difference usually takes a lot of time um, to calculate. Okay, so what can we do if we, let's say go to Google and we go to a, you know, small house floor plan. We can just, um, you know, 
just as a quick exercise, we can come in here and say take this image and then let's see if we can bring it straight in. No, we can't. So let's save the image and then we can put it on the desktop. And then here, let's go to picture frame. And what picture frame does is it allows you to bring in an image. So let's go here to the desktop where we were and then bring in that image. And we can go here to top view to make sure that everything is to um, on the bottom floor. And then we can go here to scale, go here to the front door and then here to the other to the end. And let's say let's do a three foot. So there we go. We have about approximately the size that we want here for this house. And so what we can do, it's very easily come here and create a new polyline. We can select this and actually go here to properties, texture mapping or material. And we can scroll down here to and we can make it transparent. There we go. And now we can go ahead and outline this building and then create. So let's take away that center point. And let's go ahead and just do a overall quick building so we can you know if that's what we want we can say c close set one curve here and when we come here we'll see that things are working out how we want it so it's just a way where you can kind of use a curve sketch things fairly quickly and then uh, make a decision as to what thickness of the wall and what height wall you want so let me know if you have any questions or if you learned something new in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.